Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Hello, welcome to the class. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody, we're going to start. So as usual, we're going to check about the uh, platform. This is the class of tonight. So for tonight, we don't have any homework. So it's going to be until tomorrow that we're going to continue. Remember that when we are in the unit two, we have two classes and then one homework. So that would be it, okay? And uh, well, it's a pleasure to be with you tonight. Uh, let me just check the attendance and then let's go to the class. So Aida Isabel Lopez Bonisha. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Here, teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Áviles Rivera. Sandra Janira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Oh, okay. I have some right here. Let's see. Okay, Ramiro. That's nice. Perfect. So we're going to start the class and uh, we're going to start tonight with a video. So uh, we are in a different unit right now. Uh, last class, I remember that we checked about the four piece of marketing, right? The marketing mix. So we are going to go more into that one and we're going to check about marketing. So I'm going to play a video and you are going to to check, try to understand what is the video about, and then uh, provide comments or uh, opinions about that one. Okay, here we go. Let me check if possible. Okay, let's see how it goes.
In this video, you are going to learn, what is marketing. 4 P's of marketing, different types of marketing strategies, marketing channels, and, benefits of marketing. Let's start the video. Marketing as a discipline involves all the actions a company undertakes to draw in customers, and maintain relationships with them. Marketing involves researching, promoting, selling, and distributing your products or services. Marketing focuses on the study of the market and consumer behaviors, and it analyzes the commercial management of companies in order to attract, acquire, and retain customers by satisfying their wants and needs, and instilling brand loyalty. Promotions are targeted to certain audiences and may involve celebrity endorsements, catchy phrases or slogans, memorable packaging or graphic designs, etc. 4 P's of Marketing Product, price, place, and promotion are the four P's of marketing. The four P's of marketing is a basic formula for identifying and working with the essential elements of your marketing strategy. Let's discuss them separately. Product. Having a product is key and is the root of all things marketing. A product could be anything that a company offers consumers to satisfy a need. Before they can produce a proper campaign, marketers need to understand what product is being sold, how it stands out from its competitors, whether the product can also be paired with a secondary product or product line, and whether there are substitute products in the market. Price Price judgments will determine supply, demand, and marketing strategy. Products and brands may have to be positioned differently in the market based on their price point. When establishing a price, companies must consider the unit cost price, marketing costs, and distribution expenses. Place Marketing is all about putting products or services in the right place at the right time, making it critical to research and evaluate which locations are ideal for turning leads into prospects into customers. The goal of the distribution strategy is to enable potential clients to have easy access to your products or services, as well as offer a good experience throughout the purchasing process. Promotion Promotion is how will you let the world know that your product or service exists. This refers to all the marketing and communication that is done in order to show the benefits of your product or service within the market. This is how you increase sales. Let's discuss different types of marketing strategies. Marketing is not just one single strategy, but rather a combination of many different techniques. It depends entirely on where your customers spend their time. Here are several types of marketing that are relevant today. Word of mouth marketing. If your customers are talking about a brand without any hesitation, that brand's market presence, reputation, and customer base skyrockets. These customers openly recommend a brand to their friends, family, or even strangers online. This is incredibly helpful to any company trying to reach more people organically. Search Engine Optimization Search Engine Optimization or SEO is the process of optimizing the content on a website so that it appears in search engine results. Marketers use it to attract people who perform searches that imply they're interested in learning about a particular industry or product. Social Media Marketing Businesses can use Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and similar social networks to create impressions on their audience over time. Print Marketing as newspapers and magazines get better at understanding who subscribes to their print material, businesses start to sponsor articles and advertisements in the publications their customers are reading. Email marketing Email marketing is one of the most profitable and effective techniques in terms of return. Naturally, here you are sending emails to your email list, but make sure to define your segments well in order to be effective. Direct Marketing 
Direct marketing consists of any marketing that relies on direct communication or distribution to individual consumers, rather than through a third party such as mass media. Marketing Channels With different techniques, tactics, and strategies we discussed, marketers use a variety of different channels to reach their audiences. From traditional channels like billboards and radio advertisements, to digital channels like social media and user reviews, the flexibility that marketers have now is more than ever before. Let's move on to the benefits of marketing. Marketing can benefit your business in countless ways. Let's take a look at a few of the most important ones. Number 1. Raising Brand Awareness Promotion is important because it gets people familiar with your brand and the products or services you provide. It also makes you memorable to customers who can begin to trust your brand, become loyal clients, and tell their network about you. 2. Increase market share The existing competition in the market will determine how much market share your brand is able to acquire. So, for companies looking to establish themselves within their industries, a market share objective could be an excellent choice. The aim shouldn't always be the best, but to find a good position in the market and to be considered as a reference for a segment of the market. 3. Increase Revenue Increasing revenue is a very common marketing objective. For marketers to show that their efforts have paid off, they need to see a good return on investment or ROI. To do this, they'll need to ensure that revenue from sales significantly exceeds any of their marketing costs. 4. Building trust in your brand. Creating a high level of trust in your brand leads to customer loyalty and repeat purchases. This not only increases revenue but also leads to great reviews both online and by word of mouth, which is still one of the most effective types of promotion. Number 5. Build Industry Authority We all like to be dealt with by an expert in our respective niches. Marketing objectives that revolve around building industry authority can do just that. These goals focus on establishing your brand as an authority through valuable content, keynote speaker spots, and more. If you want to read in details or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. Like the video, it will inspire me to make more videos for you, and don't... Okay, very good. So, what did you get from the video? Do you have any comments? Opinions? Questions? Teacher, different different elements about about or or around around the marketing. For example, the marketing is, is the famous four P's: product, price, place, and promotion. Uh, the other the other and the other hand, uh, the marketing have different types of strategies. For example, search engine optimization, social media marketing print marketing, email marketing, and direct marketing. Um, the marketing have different channels uh, and traditionals in the new channel. The new channel, for example, the social media. Um, in the last part, uh, the video mentions about benefits of marketing. It mentioned five benefits, raising brand awareness, increase market share, increase revenue, build trust in your brand, and the build industry authority. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you, Ernesto. That was a very nice wrap up. Nice. Uh, any other comment or opinion? What uh, gets, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think the reading growth to develop Global expansion strategy. Strategy. Okay. Very good. So yeah, I mean, it says there in the video, right? Marketing is many strategies together. So depending on what you want to achieve, you can choose 
what will be the best option for you or the combination of strategies on your product. Very good. Any other uh, opinion? Comment on the video? Yes, teacher. Um, the, the most important in our life is a promotion digital. It's, uh, it's the most important in today. Oh, that is true. The digital promotion, I mean, uh, nowadays everybody is online, right? I'm trying to, to see something. So uh, that would be a very good approach for many things. Uh, mostly for the new generation, right? So it's a very important part of the strategy. It's a more important uh, to cost uh, in the expenses and the cost, the marketing for Very good. cost product. Yeah. I mean, the cost is always important. Money is always very important because at the end, what the companies they want to do is to get some profit, right? They want money. They want to get revenue. And uh, that is the main purpose. If they are going to invest in marketing, it's because they want to achieve a goal, right? So that would be good. Any other comments or opinions? Okay, so let's start on the class of night. So uh, the four P's of marketing mix. We're going to see many things actually. So let's see how it goes. And we're going to start by reading. So let's see. Um, Eric Reyes, could you please help me reading this slide? Okay, okay. Uh, video conference. Uh, Six, the four P's of the marketing mix. Uh, the marketing mix is the set of control, controllable tactical marketing tools that a company uses to produce a desired response from its target market. It's cons it consists of everything that a company can do to influence demand for its product it also it's it's also a tool to help marketing planning and exec execution very good so it says the marketing mix is a set of controllable tactical marketing tools that a company uses to produce a desired response from its target market it consists of everything that a company can do to influence demand for its product. It is also a tool to help marketing planning and execution. Interesting what it says here, right? So the marketing mix is, is called a mix because it's not only one thing, right? It's a mix of many things. And it says uh, it's... Mix is the set. What is set, my friends? Like uh, configurar. Something like that. And it says controllable. That is very important because you are under control. Tactical marketing tools. What is tools? Herramientas. Very good. That a company uses, uh, that is very important because it's a third person, uses, the position is uses, to produce a desired response from its target market. What is target market? Objetivo del mercado. Mercado. Mercado objetivo. Nice. It consists, oh, yeah. look how it's very important, these little details. For example, it consists with S because it's a third person. So little details like those are very important. It consists of everything that a company can do to influence, that is the key word, right? Influence demand for its products. 
That's why the influencers right now are very important for the market because they reach a lot of people and then they can influence on people to buy some products. It is also a tool to help marketing planning and execution. Okay, do you have any questions on this first slide? Pronunciation or vocabulary questions? Who is pronunciation controllable? Controllable. Controllable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, good. Any other question here? Execution. 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 Good. And the other question? Execution. Okay. Let's continue then. So let's speak a little bit more about the four pieces of marketing that are product, price, place, and promotion. Uh, let's see. Paola Hernandez, please help me with it. Uh, not possible. Uh, let's see, Jennifer Amaja. Not possible. Aida Lopez. Hello, teacher. Hello. Could you please help me yeah. reading the uh, the slide? Yes. Okay. No. Uh, the four PS of marketing. Product, uh, price, place, and promotion in the marketing mix can be divided into four groups of oh variable commonly known as the four P's. P's. Product. The goal, all the, all the paragraph? Yes. 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 Okay. Product. The goods and or service offered by a company it is its customer. Price. The amount of money paid by customer to purchase the pro the product, place, or distribution, the activities uh, that made the product available to consumer, promotion, the activities that communicate the product feature and benefit and persuade customer to purchase the product. Very good, perfect. So this is like a, a wrap up of what we have seen in the video, right? So the four bits of marketing is the mix, right? The marketing mix can be divided, it says, into four groups of variables, commonly known as the four Ps. So remember that into is a preposition that goes uh, like in movement into things, right? Product says the goods and or services offered by a company to its customers. I believe this is very clear. Also, the price, that is the amount of money paid by customers to purchase the product. What is amount? It's like a, a percentage. Yes, percentage. Yes. Very good. That is amount. Very good. Place or distribution. That is like the way, the activities that make the product available to consumers. What is available? Like disponible. Very good, perfect. And the last one is promotion. The activities that communicate the product's features and benefits to pursue customers uh, to purchase the product. What is features, do you remember? Caracteristica. Very good, and what is pursued? Persuade. Very good, persuade. So, that is the most important part of the market, right? to pursue, to influence people so they can buy the product that you are providing. Nice. Uh, do you have any questions, pronunciation questions or vocabulary questions here? Teacher, yep. the correct way to say pursue or persuade? Pursue, you can say pursue or persuade, but pursue is more common, pursue. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other question? 
teacher the, the other the other word and purchase a purchase Pur purchase 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 okay thank you very good Okay. Very good. <laughs> that was a little commercial. Okay. Pronunciation correct is the DB the DB that. I'm sorry. Divided. What is divided. That? divided. 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 Yeah. And com commonly, commonly, yeah, commonly known. Commonly known. Thank you, teacher. Your work. Any other questions? Very good. So let's get more in deep into this one. Let's see. Uh, Carla Alhambra, please help me reading this one. Okay, teacher. Marketing tools. Each of the four P's has its own tools to contribute to the marketing mix. Product, variety, quality, design, features, brand name, packaging, services. Price, list price, discounts, allowance, payment period, credit terms. Place, channels, coverage, assortments, locations, inventory, transportation, logistics, promotion, advertising, personal selling, sales promotion, public relations. Okay, very good. So uh, inside of every P of the marketing mix, there are many other things, right? So for example, when we speak about products, we can speak about a variety of products. So we don't have just one product. We can have a variety of many other things that we can have. Another one is the quality of the products. In China, for example, it's very common that some products that have different quality. Yes, sometimes uh, cheap products from China are poor quality, but there are other products that are very good quality. So uh, that happens sometimes. You have different quality for different products. The design also, it can be different. I mean, uh, sometimes you have almost the same, but with a different design. So one company can have different design or features. That is very common, for example, in the cell phones, right? For the, uh, let's say the economic line or and the high line. Right? So you have different features in two kinds of, cell phones. Uh, the brand name, of course, I mean, one company can have different brand names. So they distinguish one from the other one. The packaging, definitely. So sometimes, I mean, the packaging makes big difference for consumers. And the services that the product provides. So as you can see inside of product, there are many other things. Uh, and also for price, I mean, you have the least price, that is the regular price that you see on the stores, the price that you are going to sell to. Discounts, definitely sometimes there are discounts, as we say, it's a, an strategy, right? That some companies they use so they can attract people. Allowance is like uh, the amount of money that you can bargain. Do you know what is bargain? I'm going to write it there on the chart. Bargain. When you do a bargain, it's like when you negotiate. You negotiate like different ranges. For example, when you go to the market, right? Uh, and you see a product and they say $10 and you say, uh, I can give you $7. And then the well, other yeah. person says something like that. This is a trade. It's like, a, yeah, it's the negotiation, a bargain. Uh, uh, this is a process. It's like a process, yeah. So for big companies, sometimes there is a bargain and the allowance is that 
let's say that variation where you can bargain. Okay, you know that you have your costs and then you can, yeah, you can give a discount, but not that much, right? Because you need to have your profits. So that is the allowance. Uh, the payment period is also a very common one because payment period uh, is, so depending on the product, sometimes you give the product and they can pay you in different moments, right? Sometimes they pay you half right now, half when they sell the product. Teacher, in mm -hmm. the uh, uh, a friend told me uh, two or three years ago, uh, went to the India. In the in the India, uh, always this is a word bargain, the bargain the product. Uh, never never uh, buy wherever the product, the first price. Always negotiate the price yeah that is very common i mean i believe that in all the cultures depending on where you are buying right uh, in some cultures it's very popular everywhere but in some cultures like here in el Salvador, for example we bargain in the market we we can bargain in stores right in metro center for example it's not possible uh, the market um, local yes yeah for example Mer central market it's very, so, very common. It's very common, yeah. And the the people, the people that they are selling the product, they know that one. Uh, so they put the price and they know that everybody's going to say, no, give me, give me a discount, right? Or something like that. Okay. And the last one here is the credit terms. So depending on some terms, meaning some uh, agreements, we can provide the credit, so that will be it. For place, also uh, the channels that we're going to use to distribute, right? When we speak about channels, this is more about logistics. This is going to be by truck, by plane, by boat, right? The coverage, I mean, we're going to sell this product in all the country or only in San Salvador or only on the west side assortments so how many products we're going to put together uh, do you know what is assortments anybody knows no coach surtido that is surtido so it's like the different kinds of products that we can put together so we can sell them locations i mean nowadays is very easy or very common to put the products into a supermarket or places like Walmart, Price Mart, things like that one, right? Uh, or even Siemens, you know, there are a lot of products that they sell right now that is made here at Salvador. Um, inventory, what is inventory? Yeah. Inventory is the amount of things that you have. Very good. That is a very important thing, right? And the transportation, you know what is that? And logistics. Logistics is money, right? It's very, very important for a company to have a very good logistics because uh, time and logistics and money is is the basics of logistics. There is a whole unit that we're going to check about logistics, not in this book, but later on. And the last one is promotion. I advertise. Do you remember what is advertising? It's like a publicity. It's like a publicity, right? When you uh, have an advertising, for example, on the TV, right? Something like that, a TV commercial. Uh, personal selling, that is like, this is very popular in, uh, in things like Avon, for example, or... Uh, Companies like that one that they don't don't have like um, a store. They prefer to give the product to people so they can sell the product. So that is very very common. Sales promotion, you know what is that? And public relations, definitely those are very important. So inside of every P, we are going to find different kinds of. Uh, aspects that makes this very important. 
Uh, do you have any questions before we continue? Pronunciation questions. Yes, teacher. In the in the price, how do you say allowance? Allowance. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question? In the place, uh, assortment. Assortment. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Assortment. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Teacher, mm -hmm. you said that allowance is like a bargaining? Uh, no. Uh, sometimes when you bargain, uh, I mean, how can I explain? Sometimes there are companies that they make business with other companies, for example. And the other company is possible that they come and make a negotiation that is like a bargain, right? So can you give me a discount if I, I, I get 1,000 units or 10,000 units? So the allowance in this uh, marketing part is like that, um, how can I say, that percentage that you are allowed to give discounts. Oh, okay. Okay. I got it. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. This uh, word is very common to use it, for example, for the teenagers. An allowance, uh, speaking in general, an allowance is the money that their father or their mother give to them every week or every month. Is that money for them to spend, right? Good. Exactly, that is the word. <laughs> That is the word in Spanish. We don't have that here in Sabah, right? Every time that uh, our son or kids, they want something, they come and, and ask for, for, for money. So we don't have anything. Okay, let's move on. Marketing strategy. Um, let's see. Blanca Tunaka, will you please help me reading this? Okay. Marketing strategy. An effective marketing strategy combines the four P's of the marketing mix. It is the sign to meet the company marketing objectives by providing providing its, providing, providing its customers with value. The four P's for peace. marketing. For peace, the of the marketing mix are related and combined to establish the product position within its time. Okay, so it says an effective marketing strategy combines the four piece of the marketing mix. So if you want to be successful in a marketing campaign, definitely we need to combine all of them. It is designed to meet the company's marketing objectives by providing its customers with value. This is a very important part of marketing. When they show you the marketing, I mean, the purpose of the marketing is that people, they feel that there is a value in the product. And because of that value, you can buy that. You want to buy that product. So the four P's of the marketing mix are related and combined to establish the product's position within its target markets. Okay. What is within? Do you remember within? Sin. Mm. Is the opposite of with? Uh well Dentro. that is without. Um sorry, sorry. Within. Yeah, yeah it's very it's similar like, huh? it's within together. like inside. I'm, I'm sorry. Within is like inside of something like inside of, right? Very good. Uh in Spanish we don't have a preposition like this, uh, but in English, yes. And this is very common, for example, when you are in an interview 
if you are in an interview, it's very common that people say uh, crecer en la empresa, right? But when they do it in English, sometimes people, they say uh, grow in the company. And it's not correct. When you say that expression in English, it's like grow within the company. Because in is just outside and inside. It's just a movement, uh, one movement. But within, it can be a lot of movement inside of it. So that would be within. Uh, it's a preposition. In English, we have a lot of prepositions, and it's very important for us to, to learn those. Because as I was telling you, it's, for example, if you go to an interview and you say, I want to grow in the company, they will know that your English is not that very good. But if you say, I want to grow within the company, ah, they will say, this person, he knows. These little details, right? So those little things are very important so you can speak correctly in English. Um, do you have any questions on this slide? Pronunciation questions? It's okay. okay. Perfect. Let's move on. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's move on with the four P's and the four C's. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. So, Juan Roberto, could you please help me with this? The four P's are the four C C's. The four P's of the marketing mix can be integrated, interpreted as the four C's, they put the customer's interest, the buyer, ahead of the marketer's interest, uh, the seller. Customer solutions, not products. Uh, customers want to buy value of a solution of their problem. Customer cost, not price. Customers want to know the total cost of acquiring, using, and disposing of a product. Convenience, not place. Customers want products and services to be as convenient to purchase as possible. Communication, not promotion. Customers want two-way communication with the companies that make the product. Very good. So this is a very interesting uh, approach, an, interest, uh, an interesting point of view, right? So yes, we are, we are talking about the four Ps. Uh, and we can transform that uh, into the four C's instead. So the four P's of the marketing mix can be reinterpreted as the four C's. What is reinterpreted? El reinterpretar. Very good, that is it. They put the customer's interests, the buyer, ahead of the marketer's interests, the seller. So that is this approach. You focus on what the customer wants or they need. Uh, what is ahead? Adelante. Adelante, very good. So first the customer, then me, right? And the first one it says customer solutions not products. Ah, this is very one. Customers want to buy value or a solution to their problems. So that's what they are looking to, to get, right? Uh, something that gives you value or if you have a problem, that product can solve that problem. For you. Also, the other one, customer cost, not price. Customer want to know the total cost of acquiring using and disposing of a product. What is acquiring? E acuerdo? No. No, that is agree. Adquisición. Adquirir, adquisición. Costo de adquisición, actually, yeah. So that is it. So you want to know how much you're going to pay, right? Because the people sometimes, the salesperson, they say, Oh, you are going to take this and this. It's very beautiful. It's very nice. It's very fantastic. Yeah, but what is the price? 
Right? How much am I going to pay? They want to know that one. Convenience, not place. Customers want products and services to be as convenient to purchase as possible, easy to access. For the pandemic, that changes, right? Here in Salvador, yes, we used to buy food, for example, online. But after the pandemic, you can buy anything, right? And there is delivery for many things. Uh, for example, I'm, I live in Santa Ana, and if I want to buy uh, something in San Salvador, there is deliveries that they can send me the product here to Santa Ana. So it's very nice. In the past, that was not possible, right? At least here in San Salvador. And the last one, communication, not Customers want two-way communication with the companies that make the product. That is true because sometimes the customers, they want to be listened. They want to, to say something to the company and they want the company to listen to them. So that is also very, very common. Or very important. Uh, do you have any questions here in this slide about vocabulary or pronunciation? Um, um, I I have a question. The okay. company delivery is in, in pandemic. The company Hugo Hugo in desapareció la pandemia y desapareció Hugo. Yeah. But that is very interesting what you say because Hugo was a very successful platform. What happened is that Pedidos Ya bought yeah. that company, right? So sometimes, you know, that happens when the companies, they have a rival that is very strong and they prefer to pay the money. So they are the unique ones or the, the stronger company in the market. So that is a very interesting thing. Yes. Very good. Any other comment or uh, questions? Okay, but then why pricing is important? Mauricio. Okay. Why is pricing important? Very often a uh, ten tendency of marketers to focus more on activities like promotion, product development, and market research while prioritizing their Pri responsibility. Prioritizing. Prioriz prioritizing their pro responsibility. These are often perceived, perceived as the more interesting aspect of the product and marketing mix. However, pricing needs to be given its due attention since it has, it has great impact on the rest of the activities and the company. Pricing is of pricing is of vital vital is of vital importance because because of the following reasons. Okay, so the first three pricing well, this is not the first one, but pricing is one of the most important parts. Uh, of a product, right? It says there is often a tendency. What is a tendency? Tendencia. Tendencia. Well, that is it. For marketeers to focus more on activities like promotion, product development, and market research while prioritizing their responsibilities. What is prioritizing? Priorizando. Very good. That is it. And these are often perceived as the more interesting aspects of product and marketing mix. However, pricing needs to be given its due attention since it has great impact on the rest of the activities and the company. Pricing is of vital importance because of the following reasons. So yeah, we're going to check why pricing is uh, one of the most important aspects not only in marketing, but uh, in the whole process of the company. Any questions here?
No okay. coach, it's okay. Good. So the first one says pricing is as flex as a flexible variable. Um, Anna Veronica, help me reading this. A pricing as flexible variable. Pricing change can be made quickly and with almost no lead time if the business needs to make some product positioning change of the counter or competitors competitors activities in comparison a change to the product or to the distri distribution channel can take months and sometimes significant cost input similarly any promotion decision will also require additional financial input so uh, is it important to plan for pricing change and their impact on the brand and product perception. This can still be accomplished, uh, accomplished uh, much faster than any other change. Okay, very good, perfect. So let's analyze this paradox. Uh, pricing as a flexible variable. Pricing changes can be made quickly and with almost no lead time, if the business needs to make some product positioning changes or to counter a competitor's activities. So this is the first part. Let's check some words. What is, um, it says some product positioning changes. What is that? What, how do you understand product positioning changes? Okay, cambios en el posicionamiento del producto. So, as we remember, uh, we discussed this one here, that sometimes, sometimes when you want to promote a product, I mean, promotions, discounts are one of the most common strategies, right? And it's because of this. Uh, if you decrease the price of a product, um, that is very easy to do. You can do it very fast. And also, uh, people will be attracted. About, they really care about money, definitely. So uh, that is uh, an important part of this. And then it says, in comparison, a change to the product or to a distribution channel can take months and sometimes significant cost inputs. What is distribution channel? Cambios en la distribución. Canales de, de distribución. Very good, that would be. And then it says inputs. What is inputs? Okay, uh, mm. this. Uh, ¿Puestos? No. No, no. That one, the inputs is the like entrada. Uh, oh. Entra más costos. So the meaning of this one is that you can change the price very fast and you will be able to analyze and not losing time and not losing money. On the other hand, if you want to change distribution, for example, it's complicated. It's not that easy. Sometimes it takes months, a lot of time to change procedures and processes in that one. So that's why pricing uh, is a flexible variable because you can change it very fast, very, very fast. Then it says, though, it is important to plan for pricing changes and their impact on the brand and product perception. This can still be accomplished much faster than any other changes. Uh, what is, let me see, accomplished? Completado. Completado. Accomplishes like alcanzado. Ah, completado. Something like that. Okay, so. Yeah, if you want to change the price, it's easier. Right? Uh, it's something that you can do right away if you make the decision. 
Do you have any questions here? Pronunciation questions, vocabulary questions? How do you say similarly? Similarly. 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 Thanks. You're welcome. Any other question? Yes, teacher, the word tough, the pronunciation is tough. Do. That is the. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let's move on. Define the right pricing. That is another part that is very important. Uh, Silvia Patricia. Okay. Define the right pricing. Any pricing decision for a product need to be made through proper research, analysis, and, and eye on strategic objectives for the organization and the product. A decision made to quickly with superficial assessment can result in a loss of revenue, a price below revenue, revenue. A price below the perceived value can lead to both a loss in a potential addition revenue and a target audience. That you captures the quality of the brand through price pro points. If this price is raised later on, the existing customer may feel like they are paying unfairly, 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 burden, burden, a price. Set to high can result in a potential danger staying away altogether. 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 Pricing is often done by a team of experts who spend time conducting research that considers all variables of the market and brand. Okay, this was a long one. That is a good one. So it says define the right price. Of course, in the topic, you can see uh, why this is important because you need to define the correct price, meaning not too high so the customers can buy, uh, but not too low because you, you want money, right? You want to get some profit. So let's check. It says any pricing decisions for a product need to be made through proper research. What is through? A través. A través. Very good. Analysis and an eye on strategic objectives for the organization and the product. A decision made too quickly with superficial assessment can result in a loss of revenue. Oh, that is a true. Assessment. What is assessment? Diagnóstico. Evaluación. Very good. So, yes, you need to evaluate very carefully, not too quickly, because then you are going to lose revenue. Do you remember who what is, is revenue? Teacher, who is the difference the assessment and evaluation? Mm, they are similar. There is no big difference. When you assess, it's because you have certain aspects. And when you evaluate, it's kind of the same. So elegant uh, vocabulary contable. Yeah, they are synonyms. Okay. Good. All right, so it says a price below the perceived value can lead to both a loss in potential additional revenue and a target audience that judges the quality of the brand through price points. Let's check some words. Perceived, what is perceived? Percibir. Percibido. And then it says can lead to both. Let's see. 
what is target audience? Audience objetivo. Very good, that is it. What is judges? Jueza. Mm, en este caso no es nombre, es un verbo. How, how is it going to be? Like uh, juzgar. Juzgar, very good. Mm. The quality of the brand through price. Bond. So this, what it says is that if you put a price too low, then not only the, the product, but the whole company is going to be evaluated or just as low quality or poor quality. So that is not good. And then it says, if this price is raised later on, the existing customers may feel like they are being unfairly burdened. What is unfairly? Like, sin miedo, algo así, no. Injusto. Mm -hmm. Injusto, very good. Unfairly, injusto. And burdened. Como agobiado. Something like that, cargado. So, something like that. So, yes, I mean, in mind that you have a product uh, for $10. And then the company says, Oh, is the price is too low. We're going to ask now everybody fifteen dollars for the same product. Then you, as a customer, you say, "Why? Why are they giving me some more money for the same product?" So that can cause a big impact uh, in the decision making of the consumers to buy your product. So not good at all. Then it says a price is too high can result in potential buyers staying away altogether. What is staying away? Como mantenerse alejado. Very good. And all together is together, right? So yeah, if the price is too high, if it's too much money, people, they say, no, that is too expensive. I, I won't buy it. So price is often done by a team of experts who spend time conducting research that considers all variables of the market and brand. So it's, it's, not, it's not that easy to put a price on a product. You need to evaluate a lot of things. You need to uh, check so many things. So that is a very important. Uh, do you have any questions here, pronunciation questions? Yes, teacher, I have a question. With the word revenue, what is the meaning of this word? Very good question. Everybody, what is revenue? Ganancias. That Ingresos. is ingress. Very good. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. Good. Anybody has any other questions? Okay, a lot of vocabulary in the readings. That's what I really like. And pronunciation. Let's move on to the next one. Pricing as a trigger for first impressions. Uh, let's see. Uh -uh. Victor Eduardo. Uh, pricing as a trigger for first impressions. If some product categories, a uh, consumer will form a perception about its quality and relevance as soon as they see the price. Eventually, eventually the decision to buy or not me may be best based on the perceived value. Perceived. Value uh, of the entire product of marketing mixed offering, but there is always a danger that the first impressions the try trigger trigger by the price point 
will either make the rest of the offering irrelevant or it will be a visit assessment. Bias. Bias. Bias assessment. Very good, perfect. So let's check into that one. In some product categories, a consumer will form a perception about its quality and relevance as soon as they see the price. Um, anybody wants to tell me in your own words, what is that? Richard, excuse me, repeat the, 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 the question. Yeah, so it says in some products, a consumer will form a perception about its quality and relevance as soon as they see the price. So what do you understand there in your own words? Uh, maybe when you look at product, uh, you you have on mind the you have on mind or made a price that you consider it cost. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens all the time. To be honest with you, uh, Mauricio, go ahead. I think this is similar to the last point, uh, the deciding the price or pricing the product, because even your product can be can 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 be useful or have a good quality, but if you decided to to put on a low price, a customer can perceive that it's low quality and they decide to take off that, that product or not, not buy that product. So that is it sometimes. Uh, yeah, if you see a product, even when it's a very nice product, if the price is too low, you, the first thing that you believe is, this is not good. This can be good. This is very similar, for example. It's broken. Aha, something is wrong with it, right? Um, I don't know. And you prefer not to buy just in case. That happens with any product. For example, when you try to buy a, a used car or a used cell phone, if it's too cheap, mm, you say, no, this is no good. Right? Then it says, eventually the decision to buy or not may be based on the perceived value of the entire product or a marketing mix offer. But there's always danger that the first impression triggered what is triggered, anybody? I don't remember, coach. I think it's, it's like uh, motivation, trigger, something like that. Very good, it's like a motivation. It's like, uh, well, the trigger in a gun, for example, is when you hit the trigger, right? When you hit the trigger, you, the bullet goes out. So that will be like trigger. Algo que se dispara, disparado por. So, uh, and says by the price point will either make the rest of the offering irrelevant or it will be bias assessment. So do you know what is bias? Okay, bias is like partial. So when you, uh, something is not like objective, you know? So in this case, what it says is that maybe the product is very good, it's very nice, it's very clean, whatsoever. If the price is not the correct price, if it's too low, for example, people won't buy that. This Even, is a perception. Uh-huh. Exactly, it's the perception. So maybe the product is very good, it's very nice, but you you believe something is going is going wrong with that one. So you prefer not to buy that one. Only because of price, even when you listen all the other story about how this was made. Good. Any questions here? 
Yes, coach. I have a question. Uh, on English, uh, they have, have uh, some phrase like in Spanish, lo barato sale caro. Yeah, there is something, but I don't remember. Uh, cheaper, cheaper is something that cheaper goes. I don't remember, but I can look for that one. So, but there is an expression for that one. Uh, in English, there are a lot of uh, expressions like that one. Some are very different from, from Spanish. For example, uh, anybody knows how do you say the tal palo, tal astilla, like como el papá ya dijo. Like no. father, like son. Very good. Like father, like son. So, yeah, it's very different from the expression that we have in Spanish. I mean, if we translate into Spanish, like father, like son, probably we won't get the idea uh, because it's totally different for the uh, meaning of each word, right? So that makes it kind of complicated sometimes. Okay, uh, oh, sorry. Any other question here? No, it's okay, coach. Thank you. Very good. Uh, I believe there is any other numbers. Yeah, that, that would be it. Uh, we checked that already. First impression, but this is the one. Okay, pricing as a key to sales promotions. Okay, it says sales. Well, anybody's great, anyways. Let's see. Monica. Pricing as a key to sales promotion. Sales promotion are often a short time price based offering, such as a percentage reduction or two in one type offer. These are meant to generate interest in the broad or make use of a special occasion or event. Wisely, this can be wisely. Why this can be a useful method of increasing sales, but the company must avoid to temptation to offer this special price to offer in this scenario. 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 scenario buyer will put off purchasing the product till the next sales promotion of price reduction. Very good. Okay, so pricing as a key to sales promotions. That is so true. Sales promotion are often a short time price uh, based offering such as a percentage reduction or a two in one type of. So I believe that these are the two kinds of promotions, the ones that it says here, right? Um, the most common promotions is a discount in price or that you can take two products for the price of one. That is the most common promotion sales. It says these are meant to generate interest in the product or make use of a special occasion or event. Just wisely, what is wisely, anybody? Sabiamente. Sabiamente, very good. This can be a useful method of increasing sales, but the company must avoid the temptation to offer these special prices too often. In this scenario, buyers will put off purchasing the product till the next sales promotion or price reduction. So what it says here is that, yeah, we need to avoid. What is avoid? Anybody knows what is avoid? Like evitar or in contra. Very good. So we need to avoid the promotions uh, very often. Because if you do it very often, then the the people they are not going to buy in a regular basis. They will prefer just to wait for the promotion to come out again. So 
and that is not good for you as the company, right? Okay, anybody has any question here? Temptation is temptation. Yeah, temptation. And in this case, when when says uh, the company must must avoid the temptation, uh, maybe it could be like Mr. Donald in this case, because they have a month on a specific by give the promotion. Yes, something like that, actually. So what the company they have to do is not to, to launch, to send too many promotions very often. So once in a while, it's fine. So people uh, get proud. And uh, if you do, imagine that, imagine that Donna's right now, uh, Two per one is all the year, every every day. So not not it's not going to attract people. Only in September they are going to be there available for them to buy a lot of dogs, a lot of sweets. It's okay. Okay. Good. Any questions here in this paragraph? Okay, and this is a scheme about pricing arbitrages. So the arbitrages is the profit maximization, revenue maximization, maximize the quantity, maximize the profit margin, uh, to be a quality leader, partial cost recovery, survival in the industry or any market and the status quo the position that you have in in the market is a very important part and everything that is related to this one is uh, done via the pricing so you have a very good price uh, a lot of people are going to be attracted and you are going to have a lot of revenue any questions here Okay. Yes, I have a, I have a question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, what is the mean status status quo? Yeah, status quo. Uh, anybody wants to answer that one? Started school. Yep. It is the state of the thing. In Spanish, el estado de las cosas. And is a hegemonic situation or condition of the products. Uh, one dominant product in the market. I think that this may be. That is it. Exactly. That is the answer to that one. This is something very, very old, and that's why it's in Latin, because uh, it's something that prevails until now. Good, thank okay, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, it's interesting here in English, the English class, we learn many things, not only English, right? <laughs> All right, this one is going to be for, let's see, Oscar René. Okay, before any piercing decision are made, a company must establish that it means to archive, archive, achieve, achieve road piercing. Pricing. Of pricing often these objective, objectives include one, profit maximization, keeping in mind revenue and cost, a company may want to maximize, maximize profit, 
maximize uh, profit maximization objectives should be long term and not focus only on the short term. All right. So I said before any pricing decisions are made, a company must establish what it means to achieve through price. What is establish? Establecer. Establecer. What it means to achieve. What is achieve? Do you remember? Uh, like obtener, get. I'm sorry? Like it. Like it, alcanzar. So through price. So you need to, you need to understand what you want to do. I mean, for example, I guess we were discussing that one. If you buy a soda in a store on the street, is I don't know, 75 cents, something like that. Uh, and, uh, it's a very common price, but if you go to a hotel, a very nice hotel, maybe you will pay two dollars for the same soda, uh, and that is because depending on what you want to achieve, uh, then the price is going to make an objective on that one. So it's a very interesting thing. Do you remember what is profit? Ganancia. Very good. Okay. Profit maximization is the most important for the company. And it could be long-term and not short-term. What is long-term? Largo plazo. Very good. So short-term is the opposite, right? That will be it. Okay, then it says, well, that is it. Any any questions here? Teacher, yeah. uh, I don't understand uh, where is the context for using uh, the verb means because in the, in el párrafo anterior había una frase que decía, these, these are meant and in this part says what it means to achieve but means yeah means is a verb that we can use in many aspects so for example in this one is something like lo que significa es alcanzar o lo que quieres alcanzar so in this case let me check it says a company must establish what it means to achieve que es lo que quiere alcanzar Entonces, una compañía debe establecer qué es lo que quiere alcanzar a través del precio. In this case, sometimes when it's in past, like I meant, uh, what is meant to be, for example, that is a very common expression in English, lo que debía ser, lo que debe ser. So there are many ways of doing this uh, verb. The most common or the most basic is when you say, what do you mean? ¿Qué quiere decir? Pero se refiere a ¿Qué quieres alcanzar? ¿A qué te referís? ¿O qué? ¿Cuál es el objetivo de algo? So, the okay. verb is a little bit complex because of that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, let's move on then. We have number two and number three here. This is for Ana Veronica. Not possible. Roberto Carlos. Let me sorry. I, okay. I send a message. Ah, okay. Attended. Yeah, that's attending a, a question of a customer. Ah, okay. And sorry, don't hear in the ask or the, what do you want that I do? Uh, please read. Real. The two. Yeah. Yeah, please. Okay. Revenue maximization. Let's focus on profits 
company may focus on increasing revenues in order in order to increase market share and lower costs in the long term. Three, maxim, maximize quantity. Maximize. Maximize quantity. A company may want to sell a specific number of items Items. To decrease items, okay. Uh, a specific number of items is long term cost. Very good, perfect. So there are two uh, uh, reasons right here. A revenue maximization is the first one, definitely, right? You want more money. With less focus on profits, a company may focus on increasing revenues in order to increase market share and lower costs in the long term. What is market share? Compartir el mercado, no? No, no, in this case it's mercado de acciones. Uh, and then it says lower costs. What is lower costs? Bajo costo. Okay, uh, costos más bajos. Very good. In the long term, do we check what is long term? And then it says maximize quantity. A company may want to sell a specific number of items to decrease long term cost. Oh, this is very common, right? So when you want to do, uh, let's say, minimize or maximize the profit, you want to sell a lot of products. If you remember, or if you know, uh, one of the metrics, one of the KPIs that a company has is the amount of sales, right? How much uh, items they have sold. That is a very important. Point. So is this one, right? You want to sell a lot of products. Uh, do you want, uh, or do you have any questions here? Excuse me, uh, teacher. I don't understand what you say. Maximize quantity. I don't know. Oh, the chart. or the yeah. word. Maximize quantity. A maximizar la cantidad. So okay. it means that a company they want to sell a lot of products. Okay. The more products that they sell, better for the company. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question here? No, no teacher, but uh, it's it's a comment. Uh, different industry is very common. Uh, have low low cost, for example, for the travel. That is true. Yeah, that is very fashionable right now. There are a lot of flights that are not that expensive. Right? So, so you can take a flight to a country that or to a place that is not that far away just for two hundred dollars. So that is a very common thing. Good, good. Any other questions or comments? All right, so the next ones are going to be for, let me see. Ernesto. Okay, teacher, number number four. Maximize profit margin. Maximize. Another, maximize, maximize profit margin. Another objective may be to increase the profit margin to each unit and not focus on the total number of units sold. Number five, quality leader. A company may want to use price to signal high quality and establish itself as the quality leader. Very good. So number four says maximize profit margin. This is very uh, intuitive, right? Another objective may be to increase the profit margin for each unit and the focus on the total number of units sold. 
So yes, per unit you want to get some profits. That is very, very important. And then quality leader, a company will want to use price, sign a how quality, and establish itself as the quality leader. This is also very important here, right? Because you want to be the leader. It doesn't matter what happens, you want to be the number one. You want to be that everybody see your brand and they uh, know what product is yours. Do you have any questions here? Well, this is a little company may want to use price to think that high quality as the least is helpful. Okay, let's move on then. In the, uh, sorry. Go ahead. And the, and the number five, uh, the abstract maybe is uh, uh, around uh, of the price for establishing uh, a vision of quality of the product is the, the, the central point here. Uh, is it? Yeah, yeah, that is it. I mean, uh, when you want, I mean, the price is going to be a reflection of the quality, as we say before, right? Uh, when you see a price that is not that, that, or oh, the opposite, let's say that the price is very low, then mostly, most of the people, they will believe that the product is not good, that maybe it's not a good idea to buy that. So. Um, this is something very important that we need to check it out whenever we want to set up pricing. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Six and seven. This is going to be for, let's see. Who has a prayer? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Partial cost recovery. If an organization has multiple revenue streams, it may not be to focus it on recovering 100% of these cost survival. Sometimes the best a company may want to do is the cover costs and they remain in the market. If the market is in decline or there are too many competitors, survival it may take temporary priority over profit. profit. Okay, so let's check this other two. Partial cost recovery. If an organization has multiple revenue streams, what is the streams? Actually, let's check revenue streams. The, 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 those are together, those words. Flujo de ganancia. Uh, flujo, something like that, the ingresos it can be. So, uh, and then it says it may not to focus on recovering 100% of its costs. Yeah. So, uh, sometimes you have to have a product that is not that profitable. Uh, but the other, if the other products are very profitable, then you will be able to keep with the product that is like your baby there, right? And the number seven says survival. Uh, this is very, very important. Sometimes the best a company may want to do is to cover costs and to remain in market. What is remain in the market? Mantenerse en el mercado. Very good. So that is survival. So you sometimes you need to continue operating. It doesn't matter what happens. But sometimes it's difficult. And the price of your products are, uh, are going to help you identify a best way for them to, uh, speaking about the point of view of the customers, they uh, get the real value so they can continue buying on the same company. If the market is in decline or there are too many competitors, survival may take temporary priority over profit. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it's better to continue to remain in the market than to have a lot of money in income. Any questions here in this slide?
For me, not teacher. No, it's okay. Good. Okay, and these are types of strategies on pricing, okay? Um, we have penetration pricing, scheming pricing, competition pricing, product line pricing, bundle pricing, psychological pricing. Uh, let me check. The other ones are premium pricing, optional pricing, cost-based pricing, and cost-plus pricing. And we are going to check all of that. But before that one, we're going to do an activity. Let me just check and change. Okay. So we have learned ways to determine the best price, okay, for a product. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a few minutes for in groups, you need to decide the price of two products in different markets. Okay, uh, I'm going to give you the list of five products and you decide which products you want to, to discuss about. Okay, the first product is a flying car. In mind that we have a flying car. Okay, the other is a service, is uh, a tour in all El Salvador. Is like an agent, an agency of travel, right? a tour in all El Salvador. The other one is going to be uh, the newest cell phone. I mean, the, I don't know, the iPhone 15 that is going to be launched. The next one are going to be sunglasses that, that are also TV. TV sunglasses. And the last one is a cream that is going to make uh, you look very young. Okay. And you are going to decide the price for two of these products, any product that you decide for El Salvador, and also the same, the same two products, uh, let's say in Europe. What will be the price in Europe and what will be the price in El Salvador? Do you have any questions about the activity? Quizá para tenerlo más claro en, en español. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, you are going to discuss. Se van a discutir cuál es la, el precio de, lo, de dos productos nada más, de los que les dije, en El Salvador y en el extranjero, en Europa. Y luego vamos a decir por qué decidieron uno u otro precio. Basado en lo que hemos visto. Ah, pues no sí. había entendido. No, 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 yo no había entendido. Este, los productos son. Es... La agencia de viajes. La agencia de viajes. Un tour eh, en todo El Salvador. Uh -huh. Ah, un uh -huh. tour en todo El Salvador, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. El teléfono nuevo, iPhone 5, 15, algo así. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <ríe> Los lentes para ver TV, TV. Uh -huh. Number four is. Uh, yeah, can anybody repeat? I don't know if you got it. The number, the number one, I, I, I understand flying car. A flying car, un carro volador. Un, ca un carro volador y la última era una crema para hacer para hacerse más joven. Y eso está interesante para mí. Yeah. <laughs> <Those are> <laughs> y el number four. Un carro volador. Un carro volador. Un carro volador. Flying car. ¿Alguien flying puede repetirlos? No sé si los anotaron. Uh -huh. Ese es un drone. Yes, teacher, me. Yo ah, tengo un, un carro volador, una agencia de servicio de tour para todo El Salvador, uh -huh. eh, un nuevo, el nuevo iPhone 15, uh -huh. eh, los Sunglasses TV uh -huh. y la crema y, para, y para la hacerse crema. joven. Okay. Y okay. Dos, tipo, dos tipos de precios, tenés que elegir dos y dos tipos de precios, el precio en Europa y el precio en El Salvador. Ok. Interesting. Ok, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Ok. 
So now I'm going to do the breakup rooms and you are going to discuss, my friends. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let me see here. Okay, here we go.
Hello. Teacher, dice que queríamos compartir eh, un video aquí entre nosotros para poder discutirlo. Nos da permiso ahí de, de compartir. Eh, sí, no hay problema. Vamos a ver. How disabled participants. Dice, screen sharing. Todavía no. Todavía no. Ahí está, hoy sí. Parece, no sé si ya lo ven, me avisa.
Okay, let's check then. Interesting. The first group is Blanca, Carla, Alejandra, and Paola. Tell me, what did you get into? Okay, teacher. We are discussing about the about two, and we choose the a tour for all El Salvador and the newest telephone or the newest cell phone. Okay. And we are we are talking about a tour for all El Salvador, maybe um maybe it cost two hundred dollars and the newest cell phone may cost uh one thousand five yeah one thousand one thousand dollars maybe so I was confused about the the price of Europe. So don't we don't we don't do that. Okay, but that is not a problem. Very good, interesting. Okay, two hundred dollars. Let's see what happens to the next group. Thank you. Uh, what about the next group? Is Jennifer and Ramiro Rafael. Ah, they were not able to join. I remember. Okay, the next one was Ernesto Andrade, Maria Julia, and Silvia Patricia. Oh, okay, teacher. Um, um, the two the two product or service that we um elect uh, is uh, the the one is the cream to make uh, to make junk. Uh, for the establish the 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 price uh, about the cream, mm, the cream in a specific topic is the the face cream. The the price uh, in the in the Amazon, uh, Silvia told us uh, in Amazon the price uh, in in El Salvador is fifty dollars. Uh, a face a face cream with 88 grams and the brand is Olay Olay Regenerist. Uh, the price includes shipping in El Salvador, but uh, the same the same the same product in Europe the price is very low. The love the low cost uh, 31 point 55 cents and because the factory is located is possible is located in Europe uh, it, it is the reason for the price is is, is very is very low um, the the second the second the second product is the service the tour in El Salvador agency the the agency name is um, Maria Julia Tours, uh, but in in this case I, I don't know Maria Julia and, and Silvia if you can uh, tell us. I um, is is a is a tours travel is a is is a is a visit is a visit people's uh, extra, a stranger is a uh, is a is a is a series is a country is a series uh, different the El Salvador is a place different uh, included is the uh, La Libertad City and in specific is uh, El Tunco eh, eh, is a Ruta de las Flores is a Centro Histórico eh, is included in, eh, in hotel for three days uh, is a um, is a is is a transport 
um, includes uh, souvenirs. El Salvador is a como un packet is a two 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 hundred fifteen uh, for five days. Okay. Yes, but but the, the Maria Julia and, and Silvia uh, in in this in this in this time and uh, discussing about uh, it's very very complicated establish the price uh, for this travel because uh, have different variables. For example, uh, the destinations, uh, hotel diets. Um, transportation, different variables, uh, but uh, the establish the price is very, very, for for us, very, very complicated. It is complicated for uh, for different people, and uh, the service is a security, is a pre preference the, the people, is uh, dependent uh, the the service is uh, the 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 como se llama the the preference the, the people is a uh, is a uh, important for establish is 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 a price. Okay. Yeah. It's, there are many things that takes in consideration. So very good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see, the next one is Aida, Eric, and Juan Roberto. Uh, so we are talking about the flying car. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we put the price in El Salvador in, in three three hundred thousand dollars and in Europe uh, two hundred thousand dollars. That's because uh, in in the case if if I for example I want to buy in in Europe uh, the product this product was uh, manufactured in in Germany and in this case the the price is is, is very low. Okay, and the other the other is a uh, tour in all Salvador. In this case, because if if I, for example, I I, I buy it in in the in the in in the El Salvador, uh, they will cost three three hundred dollars because no not our intermediary cost in a uh, and the contrary <laughs> in Europe, verdad? Que is in this case will be five hundred dollars. Okay. Very good, interesting, very nice, thank you. Uh, next one, uh, let's see, want to be Ana, Veronica, Jonathan, and Roberto. Okay, we discuss about the glasses uh, for, glasses on for TV, okay. TV. and only the product that uh, we have time to, to choose, um, but uh, uh, we think that the glasses for uh, glasses on for watch TV um, is a product that in El Salvador uh, costs uh, seventy dollar, but I think that in Europe is maybe the cost of fifty five dollar, because in El Salvador the uh, the raw material. Uh, not this uh, easy to obtain in Europe. Uh, it's more easy uh, to to help uh, the met the, the raw material, and is more accessibility. And um, another thing is that the, this product is made in China. In China, is uh, Asia is more uh, near to, to to the Europe. And that is uh, to help to the cost is more low, uh, more low. 
And the characteristic of the product is, uh, or the benefits of the product is uh, first, that is anti-reflective, the product, uh, the, the, the glass of the, uh, oh yeah, the, the glass is anti-reflective, uh, protection about the UV, uh, UV rays, it is made for your necessity in the size, uh, for your face, uh, for your hair, and the uh, little and light and resist uh, because it's made of carbon and with the uh, innovative design, including a box for protection meat. And that is uh, the, the product, and I, I give the, the word to the my uh my another uh, member of the group okay okay uh, we talk about this product and we think that it's work worth it because mm -hmm. uh, they are they are uh, they are custom made uh, they have a lower price and they have to an uh, mother design in a large color catalog. Okay. Very good. good evening. Evening. Oh, go ahead. Good evening. Uh, the glasses we offer are the good quality and affordable price of the $70 to the consumer. Our glasses warranty system accommodate and this innovate design. Uh, we have a website where you can review our stack. There are uh, glasses for our needs. Okay, perfect, very good. Thank you very much. Interesting how it's changed. So. The next one is going to be, uh, let's see, uh, Mauricio, Oscar, René, and Oseas. Uh, we can hear you. We can see that, but we can hear you. They put my two million dollars. Investigate for the cars uh, flyer in Europe is um very expensive. The car is two two million two million half mm -hmm. uh, euros. How much is euros? Euros. 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 Okay. Is, is maximum technology comparate for the American flyer is American flyer is more and uh, specific and the uh, technology is a uh, military mi military military no no is a uh, by the the people. Okay. In Europe, it's different. In okay. the cell phone is very expensive. Eh, no sé si quieres leerlo. O sea. Okay. Um, if you are one of those few people in the world who can afford this iPhone model, you can access their online store and purchase it with free shipping cost. Nice touch, of course. Uh, to take it on the street, we advise you to be a companion by some experienced bodyguards every day. They do not carry more than uh, 100 
100,000 euros in their pockets. Oh, that is very expensive. Very good. Perfect. <laughs> what you are using the phone? <laughs> hey, my, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. So the last ones, Jose Alfredo, Monica, and Veronica. Okay, okay, teacher, okay. Uh, we take two products as an example, the iPhone and, and the green. Uh, and we, uh, uh, como se le dice, um, resumimos. Uh, wrap up. Wrap up. Uh, and we wrap up in the it it in it in the marker on the uh, on the iPhone for example in the Estados Unidos United States uh -huh. uh, uh, the market is 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 more consumers which is is slow because is uh, 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 however, in, in the Salvador, the price is the uh, is uh, uh, alto, okay. high, uh, high, and, and to the type of market that is the is the smaller, and and cream. For example, for for example, in 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 Europa, this is the innovation of the marker demand that is ready that or that is why sales and uh, results are great, great, great. Creo que se pronuncia. Uh, uh, that too is the results by do. That is this price in the America, in the American market, perdón. Science uh, demand is, is lower. If the price is is hit, hit high. Okay. Yeah, that is true. The the markets are totally different. That's why I was telling you to to do different ones. And it's very interesting how uh, you analyze that one. Very nice. Perfect. Nice activity. So we're gonna check the attendance and then let's go to bed. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Here, coach. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Here, teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Here, teacher. Good. Jennifer Esmeralda Amayarias. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present, teacher. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto present, Velázquez. Present, present, present. Good. José Roberto Velázquez Rubano. Here, teacher. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. Maria Julia Ramos Olivar. Chair. Good. Present. Monica Wendy Avalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, teacher. Good. O Seas Ramiro Cisnero. I'm Present. sorry. <laughs> Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avidez Rivera. I'm here. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. Silvia Patricia Seituno Méndez. Present. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. 
present is there. Okay. Have a wonderful <laughs> night. See you tomorrow in Dreaming English. Okay. See you tomorrow, mister. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. <laughs>